What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be going over the Chiefs and Eagles game from yesterday. We can no longer react to the uh, videos on YouTube. YouTube, uh, I've, I've tried three different ways to try to upload the video pretty much today. And every single one has got copyright blocked. So basically for now, the way we're going to have to do it is we're just going to kind of like a little recap. Go over like what happened in the game. Give you my thoughts. So while we talk about it, I got this little gameplay in the background of some Madden. If you want to see more of this right here. Go ahead and click that link in the description at twitch.tv. Drop me a follow over there. Get those notifications every time I go live. But let's go ahead and get to uh, the Eagles and Chiefs game, right? We lost. We're one and three. We lost, I think it was uh, 30 to 42. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. Off we're going to break down the offense side of the ball first, right? Offensively, we played, we played way better than we did against Dallas, right? We didn't punt the ball. We never punted the ball. We never... No, we didn't even turn the ball over, right? Big W. So the offense played really well. The only thing I would say the offense did not do a good job of was uh, the red zone. Now, when we got in the red zone, there was a lot of missed opportunities. I know the first one was we had uh, Jayla Hurts had missed Zach Hurts. If you, I think it might have been the first drive, if I'm not mistaken, where he missed Zach Hurts on like kind of like the left side of it. If you remember that, he missed him wide open with a touchdown. Uh, the next one that we missed was when we had, what was his name? Greg Ward, right side of the end zone. Hurts him right in the hands. Ward just dropped it. It's, I ain't gonna lie, Greg Ward usually don't drop shit like that. So that was kind of like, wow, like, damn. It was a good ball too. Um, another one we missed in the red zone was Zach Hurts dropped one. It was kind of a tough grab. But it hit him right in his hands. It did hit him right in the hands. I know the DB was kind of on him, but I ain't gonna lie. Zach Ertz got to make that grab. That was another one missed. And really the last one I can say we missed was the one where uh, Hertz hit Zach Ertz to the right right sideline. Uh, actually, no, there's another one after this. We, we hit Hertz to the right. Not Hertz hit Ertz to, geez, why the fuck they have like the same name then? We hit him on the right sideline and Arthega was sitting there choking the ball out. You remember he was sitting there just, he's fucking choking him. Like, that was an obvious flag, and, you know, that was another missed touchdown. And the last one was where um, Hurst threw that long-ass one to Devontae, but Devontae stepped out. So, but definitely a lot of just missed opportunities. Like, the play call I thought was pretty good. Sereni did a good job. Uh, I know that's not how you pronounce his name, but look, I'm saying that, I'm saying that as his name until we make the playoffs. When we make the playoffs, I'll call him Sereni. Told any Sereni to me, but... This play call was pretty good. I know a lot of people were still like, oh, they didn't run the ball, they didn't run the ball. But look, we didn't need to run the ball. Like, we were moving the ball. Like, you know what I mean? So look, maybe he should have made some little bit of extra runs, maybe. You know what I mean? But look, we're not coaches. You know what I mean? And we play good offensively. So look, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain at all. Like, Kenneth and Miles had a good game coming out of the backfield catching the ball, so shit. Look, when your quarterback playing like that, I wanna keep the ball in his hands, I ain't gonna lie. So, that's the way I looked at it, but got to finish in the red zone that's all i can really say we just we got to finish in the red zone i think down there what we should really be doing is maybe you know we got we got a mobile qb we got jalen hurts one of he's easily one of the most athletic qbs in the league right now one of the most athletic i said we use that to his advantage in the red zone you know what i mean uh serene seemed like you know you know he seems like he has an idea what he's doing calling plays i think sometimes he just get a little flustered you know what i mean like the dallas game i think he got, he got flustered he, he 100 huh that dallas game he got flustered the 49ers game he was just bagged. Uh, I think Jalen Hurst is just kind of bagged the 49ers game, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. I think, like, some designed QB runs from the red zone would be really nice for Jalen Hurts, to, you know what I mean? Because it'll be a lot harder on the defense and stuff. But look, I'm just, I'm not a coach, right? None of us are coaches. A lot, a lot of the people on Twitter, they think they coaches. They like, do this. You need to do that. You need to get rid of him. Like, bro, y'all, y'all play Madden, bro. Y'all got to chill. But I think definitely, like, just having more, like, uh, Cause you seen the one play when it was like third and goal, like Kenneth Gainwell right up the middle. It was like third and eight, third and nine. It was third and goal. Kenneth took it right up the middle and just scored. So I think definitely running the ball would help a little bit more in the red zone, but that's really about it. I would probably say, you know what I mean? Just QB designed run plays and shit like that. That just helps out a lot down there. Um, and I probably have to say, uh, besides that offensively, we play good. I know he had that one fumble at the end of the half, but I, for, for that play shouldn't have been ran. Like we, it was like 15 seconds. The clock's going down. We got one timeout. We damn near pretty much a field goal range. Serena got to call a timeout right there. Like and that shit before halftime. Serena's got to call a timeout there, and he's got to. He's like, bro, you, 
Like, why are we running? We're running the third and nine. We don't know what we're doing. Like, he got a call timeout there. I didn't like that. And then Hurst ended up fumbling. We didn't, luckily, the Chiefs didn't recover it. But, like, that, that's on Serenity. But, like, he young. He going to figure it out. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's pretty much for the offensive side of the ball. Defense, though, whew, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. Like, bro, our linebackers, I mean, I, I get it. They're, they're, them fuckers suck. But, oh, my God, bro. I mean, they just... They, they made Clyde Edwards Hilaire look like he was priest home. Now, I'm not a big Clyde Edwards Hilaire guy. I'm not, I don't, he's, you know, he's all right. He's not anything crazy, but fuck. They made him like priest homes, bro. And it, it also what sucks is because Brandon Graham's going too. You know, Brandon Graham was a big factor in shutting him runs down and all that shit. So it's like, damn, bro. So, you know, we got pounded. Like, and you can't stop the run. You knock it off the field. We had a lot of bonehead penalties too when we had the Chiefs on some third downs. And we just couldn't get him off the goddamn field. And I seen a lot of people on Twitter. They was giving like Slay some slander. I'm like, how y'all giving, bro? This man Darius Slay has balled out the entire season, bro. Like what? Bro, he gave, I think he gave up one pass the entire Chiefs game. And it was like a seven yard slant to Tyree Kill. Besides that, the fucker bagged everything. Everything else was on Stephen Nelson and the linebackers. And actually, you know, Anthony Harris too, because he got bombed deep. He was, Anthony, but look, that that one bomb. At the end of the game, I can't even blame them on Anthony. Anthony Harris was a man coverage with Tyree Kill. What the fuck you thought was gonna happen? We took a shot, blitzed them, and the shit, they took a shot too. We didn't expect them to do that, but uh like the thing is like with Jim Shorts, he wouldn't he was not gonna let you run that ball. Like, oh no, no, no. Jim Shorts was not gonna let you run that ball. You can't tell me from the time we had Jim Shorts, who what team like straight up just pounded us nobody bro like jim shorts gonna make he didn't give a fuck how bad the linebackers was you was not gonna run on us we, we, like not nah, one happening and i feel like uh like I, I honestly i, I think what's his name jonathan gann that's our defensive coordinator's name i think like he was kind of like, like he was a little too scared he didn't want to i feel like a lot of times he just he don't want to get bombed like he likes to keep everything safe which i you know i mean i respect it but that's what i liked about jim short because y'all hated jim shorts i love jim shorts he, i think he's one of the best defensive coordinators we ever had bro he didn't give a fuck he was gonna take that chance and that's why i love jim bro like he's he was gonna roll the dice y'all hated him i loved him but he was in i feel like jonathan gannon he a little he a little too conservative you know what i mean like i'm not mad at him for it. i think you know we just don't really have the players to be conservative i guess you could say like we just you know what i mean like the players that we need to run that kind of you know safe defense right now uh because our linebackers are dog shit like if you like if you guys get us linebackers you could you could run that shit for free you know what i mean brandon graham's out too like we're missing some people bro you know what i mean so i feel like he, he's got he's got to roll the dice a little bit like yeah that, that one touchdown deep one we gave up to tyreek he rolled the dice there but that's the only time he did all game you know what i mean it's a little it's too late anyway the game was pretty much done at that point but He's definitely got a. He got rolled dice a little more. He's got he's got to show his nuts off a little bit. He's you know he's got them tucked away. Let them things hang. You know what I mean. You gotta let them hang a little bit. If you gonna win, if you wanna win some ball games, you gotta let them hang sometimes. Uh, but I think we got a lot of young co coaches. So a lot of these guys, they 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 gotta get the experience. They're you know they're, they're young. They are gonna figure it out though. I know a lot of people look. We either, we we could end up having a good season. We could not. You know what I mean. I look at it like this. I enjoy watching Jalen Hurts. Look, Jalen Hurts could be a bust. And I, I wouldn't give a fuck. That, that's my guy. You know what I mean? I was I liked him at, coming out of college. So, I don't give a fuck. Wherever Jalen Hurts goes, I'm definitely going to be, yo, if he ever leaves Philadelphia somehow, like, if he ever left, like, there's a lot of guys that like, when they leave Philadelphia, I watch the shit out of that team, right? For example, when LaShawn McCoy went to the Bills, I was watching the Bills games. LaShawn Jackson's on the Rams, I'm watching the Rams games. They got, they got flooded by the Cardinals. It was bad. It was fucking bad. I didn't see that coming. The Cardinals could be the real deal, but like back to what i was saying like if jalen hurts left the eagles i would watch whatever team you want to you know what i mean i would watch them heavily that's just what i you know what i mean when i'm a fan of a player like i guess like some players they could be a bust and i wouldn't care i'd still be a fan of them because i just fuck with them coming out of college you know what i mean so i got a lot of people it's weird because they're like oh jalen hurts coming into like a situation where wentz left but the thing is i was never really sold on Wentz. like i i like I, I fucked with wentz when he had that one crazy season but coming out of college i didn't really know the guy you know, ever since the injury, I, I, th I thought he never really was able to kind of bounce back from it. The team was never really that good. So, I don't know. It was, it was just weird. But I, I love Jalen Hurts. That's the guy. Hey, look. Win or lose, I enjoy watching the games because Jalen Hurts be going to fuck crazy, bro. Even when we lost to Dallas, hey, look. I was having fun watching Hurts, bro. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts on the game. Uh, defense, they got figured out. We gave up like 80 points in the last two games. That ain't going to win your ball games. Offense played really good. Hey, look. If the offense played the way they did against the Chiefs, 
against Carolina, we were going to win that game this week. So if the defense can just step it up a tad bit, uh, I don't, I don't think Christian McCaffrey playing, so we might be in a little bit of luck. So, but we're gonna see, oh boys. That's pretty much gonna do it though. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy is out.